In Barnegat, Jason Groom is back after missing two-plus weeks due to his transfer from Florida back to his hometown. The MLB scouts out in full force for the Bengals in Pinelands. 19 days off, Groom showing no rust. Once again, throwing consistently in the 90s, topping out at 94 miles per hour. Pinelands freshman Noah Dean had an outstanding outing on the big stage. This left-hander will be a name to watch over the next four years. It was scoreless until the third. Aaron McLaughlin, the commit to Rutgers University, had the biggest hit of the game. He laces a double into the gap in left center. Barnegat's in business. They've got runners on second and third with one out. Next batter is Colin O'Connor. He sends the slow roller to third, a collision. Anthony Lani slides home safe. Barnegat takes a 1-0 lead. Then it's O'Connor disrupting on the base pass. It allows Aaron McLaughlin to take off for home. He plates another run to make it 2-0. Pinelands hitters were aggressive and put some balls in play, but Groom was still able to dominate. The Wildcats delivered some great highlights as well. How about this? A web gem by David Lunn in center. That takes away an extra base hit. Groom walked two in the sixth, but got out of the jam, and in the seventh, he gets his 13th strikeout of the game. In all, Jason Groom throws 96 pitches, gives up two hits, walks three, and strikes out 13. He ends the game with the 1-6-3 double play. Two to nothing is your final. Barnegat is through to the quarterfinals of the Ocean County Tournament. After the game, Jason Groom had no comment about missing the last two plus weeks due to transfer rules, but was happy that it's over as he gets back to focusing on his senior year on the Hill. I was hoping it was gonna come sooner, but unfortunately it didn't, but I'm happy it came today. I mean, it's a beautiful day out. I mean, I pitched great. Team got it done with the bats today, so that's all I could ask for. For a win. I came back here to compete for a state title, and I mean, we're not going to stop until we get there. I always emphasize take it day by day and just one game at a time, and then eventually we'll get back to where we need to be. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.